Hello, my name is Bethany and welcome to my channel Bethany's Thoughts. Today I'm going to just go over some of my favorite Kindle Unlimited books that I've read over the last year or so. For those who don't know what Kindle Unlimited is, Kindle Unlimited is a monthly service where certain books on Amazon are available for Kindle download for just a one flat monthly rate. So the it's kind of like an Amazon library, only you only have a certain amount that you can reserve at a time, so you can only get 10 at a time, and then you can interchange them as you go for more books for a flat monthly fee. There's a mix of like popular authors, but also um, but also indie authors, and most of them, I usually read a lot of indie romances on my Kindle Unlimited. They're just cheaper and easier that way, or like self-published um, Kindle Unlimited books, um, which I find fun, and I find new authors that way, which is also always fun. And yeah, and also if you're like a, if you're a really prolific reader, it's a really smart service for that, because there's just so many books available for Kindle Unlimited. But there's also popular bestsellers that are available, like old ones. I want to say like all the Harry Potter series are on Kindle Unlimited. So you have a lot of different options. I just typically read a lot of romance on my Kindle Unlimited, but there's other wide variety of other books to read on there as well. And I went and checked and made sure that these books were still <laughs> on Kindle Unlimited because sometimes I don't necessarily read all the ones that are on my Kindle Unlimited. I've had a few things on there that's been on there probably for a year or so. But I had some great recommendations that I thought I'd go over that might be fun and you can check out. The next book I wanted to recommend is Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. I, Lucy Score, I read some, I've read some books from her before and I really liked her. There's some, there's one or two that weren't great that I weren't my favorite. So she's kind of inconsistent for me, but Rock Bottom Girl was probably one of my favorite reads by her so far. It was about a woman who had to move back home after she lost her job and she's been bouncing from job to job to job, trying to find like the it factor, like trying to find the dream job, office job. It takes her away from home and makes her super successful and super, you know, fulfilled. And, um, but she has no idea what that actually looks like, which I really related to because I think when you go to college, you have that expectation and that's not the reality of situations. And she ends up becoming a soccer coach for her high school. And she's a soccer coach part time and then the PE teacher part time, part time as well. There's a lot of high school drama that goes on and there's some flashback scenes that go back and forth from her in present day to her in high school. And um, the guy that she had a super crush on who is a history teacher at the school that she is um, also working at and sparks really start flying between the two of them. It was just so good. I really like the character development between the two of them. I really like the chemistry between the two of them because she is never wants to go back home because of what happened to her in high school and how like traumatic it was and how terrible it was. And, uh, um, but you don't have to stay stuck in that mindset and you can grow and change the person. And I, there was just, it was really, really good. I really like the character development in this one. I would uh, definitely recommend checking that out. That's still on kind of Kindle Unlimited now. The next one I wanted to recommend and talk about was uh, Cocky Roommate by Claire Kingsley. So this is under her Book Boyfriend series. I read Book Boyfriend because the premise where she basically meets a guy who is in a bookstore. I mean, you can't go wrong. <laughs> um, and it was still really good. I rated it three stars. Cocky Roommate was the best one out of that series. So if you And they're all stand their own standalones. You don't have to read them as a series, but I'd recommend if you read that series. They're all on Kindle Unlimited, but I recommend if you read the series. Cocky Roommate is the best one. And this is why. So it is about a woman that she is an editor and is trying to start her own editing business for writers. And her father's friend, the brother from Book Boyfriend, his friend needs a place to stay for a little while while he's between... That's what was happening. He needed a place to stay because his place was getting remodeled. So he goes to his uh, um, friend, offers his sister's place. His sister says, fine, I'm looking for a roommate anyway because I'm starting my editing business and I can't really afford my rent right now. And so it mutually works out for them. And he is such, talk about a grump character. He is such a grump. He is so, he's like a playboy, but he's also like cold and kind of an asshole and so egotistical and so like, just he's just such a jerk at the beginning and you he seems really unlikable um female lead is 
just so I don't know if I think I don't know if I should call her a sunshine character, but she's like so genuine and just so caring and so loving, just naturally, that he's kind of thrown off by her kindness and doesn't really know how to handle it. And um, so things start to kind of build from there. And one of the pivotal moments is when he gets sick and she takes care of him. And he literally does not even know how to respond to being taken care of. And it's, I love that kind of trope where like a guy literally, and girls too, but like a character literally doesn't know how to accept love and care from other people in a character. There's just something that like warms and melts my heart. That was definitely this book, and I really, really enjoyed it. He just grows to care for her so much, and ugh, it's really, really good. I really recommend it. Again, I think it was the best in the series. You can read the rest of the Book for My Boyfriend series if you want to check it out, but Cocky Roommate was definitely the best in that series. Strongly recommend. It's the next series that's all on Kindle Unlimited is the Dirty series. So if you're into a rock star series or rock star romance, this is the book for you. It starts with Dirty Like Me, which is probably one of my favorite of the series. The Dirty Series by Janine Diamond. So this is a rock star romance series. So basically it is about the band and the rock star band and kind of as they pair up, who they pair up with. I have, I'm not going to lie, I haven't finished the series, but it's a, really a solid series. I've liked it so far. So it starts with Dirty Like Me, which starts with um, one of the main leads from the band gets into a music video and a girl who is a friend of like the producer of the music video like hooks her up with a gig because I guess she needs money and she gets involved in become be, uh, starring in his music video and he is really intrigued by her and so he invites her to his tour to continue being part of his like entourage and cadet to continue fake dating that's what it is. They continue fake dating for press. So to like promote the song and to promote his solo album, which is what the music video was for, not for the rock band. So yeah, so she joins him on tour for his solo album to kind of continue the story of them fake dating. And it's really steamy. It's really hot. It's really, um, I'm not a huge fan of rock star romances, but I definitely really like this series. And I like that their music and their touring and everything was really involved and is really a part of their story. The rest of the series, I can't remember the some of the titles, sorry guys. And then there's Dirty Like Seth and Dirty Like Us, which is a menage a trois, which I did not read. I heard it was not a very good menage a trois romance. The problem that I've had with some of the other ones is that more of them are in like stories from their past and their past relationships. And people that they've, it's, so they're all, a lot of them are second chances, like they're, they have a past and then they kind of get back together. Dirty Like Me, I kind of liked because she was new to the group and it was just really genuine. They're all on Kindle, on Kindle Unlimited still, check them out. The next author I'm going to recommend actually for Kindle Unlimited is going to be Marina Zapata, which if you're involved in the romance world at all, Marina Zapata is the queen of slow burn. I mean, the absolute queen and these books are usually tomes like they're like 500 to 600 words and the couple does not get together until the very end I mean the last 50 pages it just it's so good and they're so compelling like usually I have to reserve like a day to read Marianne Zapata because I normally cannot put her books down um, the first one I read was from Luke Off with Love with Love from Lukov, and that one was an ice skating romance, which I wouldn't think I would like a competitive ice skating romance, but it was really good. That was also the only thing I, I like about Marina Zapata is that she does some sport romances, and the sport romances that she does, they actually play sports, and you actually see them practice, and there's actually, you know, they're playing and they play games and it, it's a huge impact on the, and the huge role in the story where some sports romances, they're playing sports, but they're not, you never really see it. You never see them practice. I'm just going to briefly say with, with Lukoff, um, with love, pfft, I keep messing up the title, <laughs> with love from Lukoff is about two rival ice skaters and he needs a new 
pair and she can no longer be a solo ice skater because she just her career's not washed up but like her career as a soloist is probably not going to pan out and uh, um, so he brings her on as a pair and he's done really well like he's like on the Olympics and what have you and has done really well in his career so he brings her in and but they're like childhood rivals they just butt heads constantly constantly it's such a enemies to lovers it's but it's so, so good and so drawn out. And by the end, you're just like wanting them to get together so badly because there's just so many things that happen across the board. And the character development's always really great. Yeah, I really, I've read now like about four or five of her books. I haven't read all of them, but I've read quite a few. Um, With Love for Mugloff is one of my favorites. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, one of my favorites. Wall of Winnipeg. He's a football player and she's his assistant and he, to get his, he's from Canada and to get his visa to be able to continue playing on the team, he has to get married. So he marries his assistant and his reasoning being because he can tolerate her fairly enough. <laughs> and it's, that one is really, really good and also really drawn out and man, the slow burn, man, ugh, it like kills you, but it's also so, so good. The other one I really enjoy is Dear Aaron, which Dear Aaron is a military, technically a military romance because Aaron's uh, deployed through most of the book and he comes back. It is half the book is just emails and chats and I love epistle novels so much. I always really enjoy that style of book. So, um, and it was done really, really well and really contributed to the slow burn of the romance. It was just, ugh, that one was really, really good too. I really liked that one. Cannot recommend Maria Zapata enough. I would say only like one or two of her books are, are paid for, but all of her others are on Kindle Unlimited. So strongly recommend checking one of them out for sure. Do the thing. Uh, the next book I wanted to talk about are two, To Love, Jason Thorne by Ella Mays, and the second one being To Hate Adam Connor. So they're standalones, but I kind of feel like they're a duology because the two books go really closely together. To Love Jason Thorne is about childhood friends. He's her brother's best friend who ends up becoming an actor, and she writes this um, novel that ends up being turned into a movie, and he's being talked to about being cast in the movie, so they reconnect after all this time. She is so overwhelmed by seeing him again and still starts having these really strong emotions for him again. And then he starts kind of kind of falling for her as well. Yeah, it's just really cute, actually. I really like the connection between the two of them. Their romance is very, very sweet and kind of a childhood friends to childhood friends to friends again to lovers. So there's something really sweet and cute about them and their story. To Hate Adam Connor is very different. So To Hate Adam Connor, she in the novel is the best friend from the girl in To Love Jason Thorne. I really liked her character in Jason Thorne. So when I found out she had her own book in To Hate Adam Connor, it was like a no brainer. He's the next door neighbor and he's also a very famous actor. Um, but he has a kid from his first marriage and his first marriage is like really toxic really terrible like she doesn't care about the kid at all so he's very protective of his son and she just finds him really hot adam connor she finds him super super hot but he's super arrogant and really jerk and really a jerk but i think it's also just because he's super protective of his son and one of their first meetings is that she breaks into his backyard who to save his son from drowning who went in the pool without supervision so the enemies to lovers man they like hate each other and the first time they have sex is like super hate sex like it's really intense so it's just really fun and it's a lot more angsty and yeah and that is my Kindle Unlimited recommendations. So from what I've read so far, I mean, hopefully I'm going to be reading more Kindle books, as, uh, Kindle Unlimited books at some point. Let me know if you've read any of these. Let me know what you recommend from Kindle Unlimited and what has been your favorite book from a Kindle Unlimited if you have that serious service. And that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe to see more. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you again so much for watching. This is Bethany from Thanese Thoughts. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.